Hey everybody, welcome back to DIY Hi-Fi. Today we're going to be building in-game home theater speakers. These are the Audience 212s by Toys DIY Audio. We're building these from scratch, which means there's a lot to do, so let's get right into it. So we're going to begin this by breaking down all of our stock. We're going to be using 3 quarter inch MDF uh, for all of our panels. And then our baffle is going to be doubled up, so we're going to have about an inch and a half of front baffle to work with. We're going to start our glue up now. I'm working by myself and I don't have a ton of large clamps so I'm clamping as I go and using large brad nails to hold my panels while the glue cures. So for our front baffle, I'm going to laminate two pieces of a 3 quarter inch MDF. This is going to give us more material to work with when recessing our drivers while leaving enough to fasten our drivers to. This will also help to cut down on panel resonance caused by our drivers being directly attached to them. So speaking of resonance, it's now time to start on our braces. With an enclosure this large, it's very important that we join all of our panels together. All of our drivers share the same common chamber, so we need to create openings in our braces to allow steady flow. I'm going to cut four large holes in each brace and then use a 3 8 round over to hopefully allow for even better airflow. The last cutout for my baffle will be for the horn. This is a multi-step process that involves creating a jig. I didn't film the making of the jig, so I'm going to include a link to DIY loudspeaker project pad where Javad teaches you this step by step. So 
So now we're ready to attach our front baffle. It is very thick, which doesn't easily allow for nailing. So we'll glue and clamp everything. And to be sure that our braces are making solid contact with the baffle, I'll use the driver recesses to drive brads into the braces. So while we wait on our primer to dry, let's go ahead and start on our crossover. Our woofers are run in parallel, which increases our efficiency. This means that the compression driver needs less attenuation to match our woofers. The designer has used a third order on both our woofers and the compression driver. Overall, the crossover is pretty straightforward and painless to assemble. For good measure, I'm gonna add some hot glue to all of the components. This gives us a little more security and is still easy enough to remove if we need to do so in the future. So this build took quite a while. One of the biggest reasons for this was my change of direction. I initially planned to do an automotive finish on these, and I shared some progress photos with a friend of mine, and he talked me into doing veneer instead. I would not have primed these if I had intended to use veneer from the start. I'm not really a fan of how the contact adhesive applied to the primer. It did, however, go on just fine in the end. After about 10 days and some wild temperature swings, I'm glad to say it still adhered and without any blistering. This is cherry wood, and I'm going to be using an early American stain, and I'm going to be finishing it with a satin lacquer.
So it's now time to drop in our drivers. This build gets its name from the brand of drivers it uses, SB Audience. SB Audience is the professional arm of SB Acoustics, a high-end speaker manufacturer. We're using two of their 12-inch Neo woofers and their 1-inch Neo compression driver. Using Pro Audio drivers allows us to achieve very high efficiency, low distortion, and very dynamic sound. All of this means these will be perfect for home theater applications where dynamics and wide coverage are required. So now that we're done, I'm going to give some final thoughts. Typically, I would measure these for you guys, but I'm having some issues with my mic setup and I don't want to publish erroneous information. If you're interested in seeing data, go ahead and subscribe and I'll post it in the community tab in the near future. In the meantime, check out Toyd's DIY Audio's video on these. He is the one that designed these and many others, so go check out his channel. It's highly recommended. So what do I think of these? Well, to put it simply, they're great. When used in a two-channel setup for music, they are phenomenal. It really does feel like the performer is standing right in front of you. The center image is well-defined, soundstage is very wide, with things often coming from far outside the sidewall. The ambience while listening to Sailing by Christopher Cross is otherworldly. It really is like a wall of lush sound coming right at you. For home theater use, they do just as well. Dialogue is crystal clear, easy to understand. Action scenes were not lacking for dynamics. If you really want to go all out, you could reconfigure the enclosure to be a center channel, but I will personally only be using them in a 2.1 setup at home. So thank you so much to everyone that has watched this far. It really means a lot. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a comment and let me know if you would have done the automotive finish or if you're a fan of the veneer. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks and bye.